Hey, what's up? It's Y. Welcome back to another episode of Why Stop Now. Today, I am joined by... Emma Coy. A beta. How... How, how'd you get here? Um, well, they hired me on at CMU TV a couple semesters ago because they felt bad. What? I mean, I, I could, looking at you, I could tell why. I mean, you look, you look pretty sorry. I was kind of a diversity hire because I'm short, so they felt the need to give me the job. And also, I'm really good at computer stuff. Yeah, yeah. Is that is that is that is, is that the only thing that you're good at? Um, I'm really good at video games and computer stuff. Yeah. And music. Yeah. And but, but, like rapping and what stuff. What kind of what kind of music or yeah, what kind of music stuff? Were you a band kid? You're a band kid, weren't you? No, I wasn't a band you kid. You were a band kid. But I definitely fit the stereotype because you, I didn't have any friends in high school. You were def what instrument did you play in band? The trombone. Why? Because I liked that it was brass and I thought that that was really cool. So, I learned how to play and I spent all my time with my trombone and like learning to play cuz I didn't really have any friends. So that was kind of how I was able to express myself. Is do you, so you like shiny things? Yeah, yeah I'm a you big like... fan. Like you know that song from Moana that's like shiny. Yeah, that yeah. kind of was my inspiration to play the trombone. So, so like you're saying you're like a crab, pretty much. Yeah, I like to grab onto things. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, I don't have a lot of friends, so when I do find friends, I really like cling on and don't let go. Yeah. So, what kind of issues has that brought up in your life? Um. I don't think that we should get into that. No, you don't. You don't want to. You don't want to touch on touch on touch on, uh, touch on problems. Well, I don't think that I should expose um, my myself in those ways, because I think the second. I don't know. Can you ask me a different question, please? Um. What's your toothbrush color? Um, I use, I don't use a toothbrush, just kidding, I do, it's green, oh. and it's like an Oral-B one. So, so you decided to, are you like representing your, your, your fellow, your, fe your fellow Scotsman, uh, with the, with the green toothbrush? Yeah, I'm actually part Scottish, um, my dad's Mexican, yeah. but my mom has some Scottish heritage, is so I really think that those two correlate pretty well. Is, is that why you're small? That's, are you are you, are you that's guarding why I'm a pot vertically of gold? challenged? Yeah, like a leprechaun. Yeah. I wish I had the red hair that you have, but it would really tie things together. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I really wish you were a better interviewer. I. I mean, you. You're the one that agreed to come on the show. This isn't my fault. This. Why why did you why did you agree to come on the show if you think I'm a bad interviewer, huh? Um because I felt pity for you cuz I know that you also don't have a lot of friends. So like I thought that, you know, we should do this more often than just on the season finale. So I thought that it would be good to, you know, really I figured I could really, you know, get in your shoes. Yeah. So, you're running out of talent, huh? Well, I still do a lot of, you know, music things. Yeah. And, like, you know, making music yeah. and so singing band. songs. No, not in band. So, but, like, what's your, what's your favorite stuff? band? What's your favorite song that, to play in band? Um, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is a really good one. How does that one go again? Well,. I personally like to sing the song Mayday. You can check it out on my YouTube channel, Production Asphodel. Um, so, how's your day been? Pretty good. Yeah? Um, it's, I, my mom always tells me that I should eat more because I'm really short and she thinks it'll help me grow. So I've been eating a lot lately. Yeah, what, what's your favorite food? Um, well, one time my professor bought me a, a chicken wrap and that meant a lot to me, so now I eat chicken wraps all the time. Yeah, 
So, what, 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 what do you like in your chicken wrap? Ranch and chicken. Think yeah. That the combination of the two go really well together. Yeah, you, you big, big ranch fan, huh? Yeah, ranch yeah. is good. Also, I like avocado. Oh, dude, I love avocado. Avocados are so good. Um, what about guac? Big fan of guacamole. Like yeah. I said, my dad's Mexican, so I grew up eating a lot of chips and salsa. Yeah. And um, burritos and tacos. Yeah, all all with guac. I all imagine. with guacamole, yeah. of course. Oh, guac. Yeah, guac. Guac's good. So, when's your birthday? October. Okay. Yeah, October. When's your birthday? I don't know. Probably sometime in like September. No. Uh, you sure? I think I know my birthday. You gotta know it. I, I don't. I mean, I was born on my birthday. How would I not know my birthday? Say it. Your mine's October sixteenth. Yeah. No, yeah, it's... close enough. Yeah. So. Did you text me on my birthday? I don't know. Do I have your phone number? I don't know. Yeah. I'll be kind of weird. Um, how about, uh, what's your favorite, uh, magazine? Um, I really like the Rolling Stones because I like music. Yeah. So... I like to see what the different music people are doing. Yeah. And stuff. You like you like music people. Mhm. Mm Big fan of music yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like do you do you like like music people or like, or like or like the 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 other like music people? Well, that was a really stupid <laughs> question. Maybe you should phrase it better. Uh, do you like do you like people? Um, no, I'm really antisocial and kind of socially backwards. Like I said, I don't have a lot of friends. Yeah. So a lot of times I just prefer to sit in my room alone in the dark. I mean, it doesn't doesn't have to be in the in the dark. You, you could there's lights in t typically most rooms have electricity to you don't need to be in the dark. That's not good for your eyesight. I know that I know that you 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 have bad eyesight. I do have bad eyesight. In yeah. fact, that's why I'm agreeing to be on this show, so I don't have to read any teleprompters. It's also I'm a really 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 bad driver. Like, do you remember that time that we went to the concert together and I was driving the wrong way on a one way street? Because <laughs> yeah. I, I scared myself yeah. while I was oh, driving was, personally. Was a, so I was, was just such wondering a good if you remember that. Yeah. Do you remember the stop sign that you ran through? That was interesting. Yeah, that was, that was fun. Good times. Um, so, how you doing? I think that's pretty much all I have to say. Yeah? No, you got nothing else? No. No? I just really you, appreciate you, you having think, me on the show today. Yeah, I think... I, I, I don't know why you agreed. But Thank, I mean, thanks, 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 thanks for coming along. Um, I have no, nothing else. You got nothing else? We would just like to say happy April Fool's Day. Happy April Fool's. And thank you for joining us. I know this may come as a surprise, but I'm actually Wiley. And I'm actually McCoy. We thank you for tuning in to this very awkward episode. I understand if you didn't make it all the way through. And I promise that next week we will be back for a more professional episode that isn't nearly as cringy. Thank you again for tuning in. I'm the real Wiley. And I'm the real McCoy. And we will see you next week on an all new episode. Why stop now? The show is just getting, the, the, I forget it. The story is just getting started. She got it. <laughs>